first, as you just said, it's all about creating smart city and sustainable communities. So the two key words are to be smart and to be sustainable. So in this perspective, we are actually trying to help the developing countries to be very aware of the potential benefits that they can have in terms of having or building or planning for smart city and smart societies and even help them actually to catch such opportunities that they can enjoy when having such uh, smart uh, and sustainable community. A smartness actually revolves around the, the citizen himself. So first, the, the most objective is to try to make it a better lifestyle, better enjoyment environment for the citizens to live in. And second, for the whole community to have a perspective uh, overview on the better and uh, more perspective uh, economy as aspects as well to try to make uh, an economic growth in the community they are living in and to have better friendly environment as well. So there are different aspects that we need to target when we are talking about smart city or a smart community. This is a big question, actually, because right now people are moving to a new concept of having smart cities other than the traditional cities. And this is a big collaboration between ICT and different sectors because the city involves different uh, players. So the first uh, challenge is to how integrate, uh, to how to come up with and all the players coming to the same table, thinking together, planning together for the whole uh, good for the whole citizens. This is the first thing. So it needs a lot of uh, effort to bring them together and to have a political will actually to promote this activity. And second, uh, every country has to be very aware of the opportunities that they have in when they achieve such uh, smart city or community. So you have to assess the potential opportunities, you have to know your pains very well because you need to target certain aspects of a smartness. No one can achieve all smart uh, aspects in one city or one location. And whatever is uh, smart and successful in one place may not be uh, smart and successful in another. And third one quickly is the business model itself. This is a new interaction between different players. And there is a lot of cost involvement in terms of implementation, in terms of revenue, and involvement out of stakeholders. So we need to come up with the right business models that can assure profitability and assure sustainability as well. The goals involve a lot of aspects that really uh, target better lifestyle, better industry, better environment. And all of these aspects are actually one of the targets and one of the verticals that we need to achieve in a smart city. So we're looking for a better and smart education. We're looking for a better and smart energy management. These are also aspects of the study uh, of the development goals. We're looking for more business opportunities to lessen the level of poverty. We're looking for more friendly environment that people can live in. So all these aspects are actually contributing very well to the sustainability and to achieving the sustainable development goals through different verticals that had to be there in a smart city. Actually, we are, there are different aspects we are trying to study. It's the, the policy aspects, the regulation, you're looking for the security and the privacy. You're looking for the business models. You're looking for case studies. So we're trying to compile all of these aspects in one report. This is one thing uh, countries can make use of. Second, we're conducting different regional workshops. Third, we're looking for capacity building through different seminars and through different aspects to be implemented in the center of excellences. And fourth, we have also encouraging a uh, good dialogue and collaboration between developed and the developing countries for to have some programs or projects for partnership to uh, really make use of the experiences they have been going through and to transfer this knowledge and experience to the developing countries as well.